So my name is Shivy Williams, and I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. Now, here is today's motivational message. So I just wanted to come on and be real with you guys. So um, yesterday, I tried on a pair of pants. They were size six. I've been wearing a size six for a very long time. Um, I pulled, I put my pants on. See, I have shorts it out today. I put my pants on, and I could only get my pants up to here. Like, I could not get my pants leg above here. And so I thought to myself, what the heck is going on with my body? Like, and so, you know, I have not always been 100% at this journey with my eating and stuff. And um, so I had to do some thinking. Hey, Jean, I had to do some thinking about why my legs were so much bigger, right? Um, and was it all from my eating habits right so I was doing some thinking and I just was like gosh I can't believe I can't get these pants over my legs like two weeks ago I was able to get the pants over my thighs right so then I was like okay I'm gonna put these sixes back they were just like some straight leg six pants and I said okay I'm gonna put those back so then I decided oh I got a pair of eights in here let me try these eights on and a lot of my jeans are from Old Navy I love Old Navy jeans so I put the eights on, I got them on, but they were like really kind of a little tighter than normal <laughs> in this area. I was able to get them on, but it was like, you know, like a gap here where I couldn't even put them up no more, but they were also low ride jeans. So I, I took those off. And what I do have is a pair, two pair of Old Navy um, curvy jeans. Now when I bought these curvy jeans, I didn't have enough curves in the size six to really feel the curvy jeans. But when I put the jeans on yesterday, I had more than enough curves to fit the curvy six jeans. So um, I was like, oh, these fit perfect now. So like I said, I have been doing some thinking. And so here's what I've come up with. A couple different reasons as to why my bottom half has gotten a little bit bigger. Now, when I gain weight, I gain weight from my, uh, like, like a lot of women, from my stomach, stomach, hips, and thighs, right? My, my legs. That's where I gain my, my weight at. My legs and my butt, I gain weight there all the time. Like, if I'm gaining weight, that is where it is going from. Exactly, Jean. So, here is the difference in the last two weeks that have happened. Um, so, one thing is, y'all know I had a birthday, so I turned 46. I had a conversation with my mom yesterday and asked her when she went through menopause. Because usually they say, you know, like around the like whatever age your mother went through menopause you should about around the age you go through menopause blah, blah blah so i said okay i asked my mom she said oh at 43 at 43 what? i passed that like three years ago now mind you i have been in premenopause for a very long time i have really bad night sweats sometimes i have high flashes very rarely do i have hot flashes i always have night sweats at night every night go to bed cold wake up in the middle of the night and i'm soaking wet always have night flashes I'm hot flash. I mean, sweat, night sweats at night. So that could be a reason as to why my body is starting to change some. So I'm going to go to the doctor, get my hormones tested to see what is up with that. Because I might be going through, hey, Ruthie, I might be either through the menopause stage or my hormone levels have probably completely gone wild. We'll see. So, um, hey, Norelli. And so I, that's one thing. So then I thought, you know, you just started going back to the gym last week. So what I did was I did go back to the gym last week and I did do legs. It is extremely easy for my body to bounce back. So I haven't been in the gym in two weeks. I mean, in two months, right? So before we went on our cruise in July, last time I was in the gym was in um, June. So then I thought, well, maybe part of the reason my legs and my butt are much bigger is because... I have gone back to the gym and it's only been one week right but i've lifted more weights and last month we did a 30 day butt challenge where i added ankle weights to the workout i've also been wearing my weighted vest as well so i've added these extra pounds on when i'm doing my exercises and so that can also be the cause of my legs getting <laughs> bigger so um, I just want you guys to know that 
yes, you can gain weight and your, um, not even necessarily weight, but your um, body can become bigger, not just because of something that you're eating, right? But if you start adding weights to your workout, what can happen, well, especially for me, my legs get bigger. Now, that does not necessarily mean that it's a lot of fat. It's just that they've gotten bigger from the added weight. So I have less fat on my legs, but they're bigger from the weights. So I just got, want you guys to remember that when you start incorporating weights, it really does help to burn the fat. Now, sometimes, depending on your body type, for me, I already know that area just gets bigger naturally. And so sometimes you may just begin to lean out, right? So you just have less body fat, but your legs may become leaner, right? So just realize that everything is not about your eating um, as far as like, oh my God, I've gotten bigger. If you're getting older, your hormone levels may start going haywire and then here comes the weight and what you were doing then may not necessarily work as your hormones change. Let me see. So Teresa said, I was 48 when the little hotness started menopause game, 59, 60 years old. Then the weight came around the belly. Yeah, so exactly, Jean. So now I have a thicker bottom half <laughs> and my stomach is not as um, tight as it was. And so for me, what I'm gonna end up doing is on Monday, I'm going to be doing a 21 day snapback challenge. So I'm going to clean up my eating for the next 21 days. I'm gonna see what my body does to that. Um, we are going to be doing in this challenge, we're gonna be doing some exercises where we do them at home. We work out six days a week. I'm actually going to do three days at home and I'm doing three days in the gym because I'm ready to hit, go back into the gym. And so I wanted to make sure that I still did the challenge, but I'm going to be incorporating weights. Now, one of the things I did do today, and I've been doing, I think, twice today or once yesterday as well, is I actually started doing um, 15 pound dumbbells as well as uh, doing my workouts at home. So now, again, I've incorporated these heavier weights and my body tends to pick up more mass than it tends to lean out. So like my arms look okay and they look great. Um, but I do do that too. So it says workouts for a treadmill, please. Um, so I just actually, I just do some of the workouts that are already incorporated into the, into the treadmill. So there's something called, uh, uh, somebody just asked a question about a treadmill workout. Um, gosh, I forgot what the name of it is. It's called, it's like a hit routine where you do, it's, uh, eight rounds and it's like you walk for a minute and a half and then you jog or run for uh, 30 seconds and you do eight rounds of that so it usually ends up being 20 minutes that's what i do now um i try not to do a whole lot of cardio but what i'm trying to also figure out you guys is um what do i need to do to change my eating habits so here's what i i, I used to do and i probably would go back to doing this um so i would usually eat around let me see I usually would eat around six, seven o'clock, usually around six, not really, but around seven o'clock. And then I would go to bed between eight and nine. I'd wake up between 2.15 in the morning and 3.15 in the morning. And then, you know, I get up, I do um, the Facebook Live workouts, which can be anywhere between 10 and 30 minutes. And then I go to the gym and I do about an hour at the gym. So that gives me an hour and a half of a workout in the morning. I then come home get my dogs ready, get ready for work. And then on my way to work, which is somewhere, I don't know, between 7.30 and eight o'clock, I am having my very first meal, which is usually a veggie or um, fruit smoothie, veggie and fruit smoothie. So I'm usually doing that on the way to work. So I do this long fast from overnight. I work out on an empty stomach, I do. Uh, my body is used to that, so that doesn't bother me at all. But one of the things I started doing, I'm like standing in this grass and I got bugs. One of the things I started doing was once I came home from the gym, I would then do, I like eat a protein bar and put some protein in. I, that may, I have also changed and that may have also affected the way that my body um, is adjusting. So now I'm eating meals when I usually did not, like eating 20, 20 um, grams of protein when I finished my workout. So that could actually have something to do with it when I usually don't eat until on my way to work. I put something in my body until I'm on my way to work. I also have done less cardio than I did last year. So I used to do a lot of cardio at, at lunch, 
Last week was a, a bust for my cardio at lunch, so I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, usually on Saturdays, I go walking the mountain. I used to be really faithful at doing that. I didn't do that. I did walk on the treadmill, so I did do an hour and a half today. But usually my Saturday works out like two hours or two and a half hours long. So I'm not burning as many calories as I used to, um, but I am still intaking probably about the same amount of calories. So you guys, just know that as we age, um, different things happen to our body and sometimes you just have to look at that and you have to make some adjustments. You have to figure out what the heck is going on, um, like me, and then just, you know, still be happy with your body and still give 100%, right? So regardless of what I'm doing, I'm always gonna give 100% in my workouts. I have to always adjust my eating from time to time, more now than I have been. So, you know, I gotta look at the whole picture, the whole entire picture, not just what am I eating, not just I'm not working out enough, do I need to do more cardio, but what is going on on the inside of my body as well, right? Am I having a hormone issue? I need to go to the doctor and get some tests run. So just know that some of it may be eating, some of it be, may be working out, and some of it may be hormonal. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So And that's what basically happened. So I have on some six shorts today. <laughs> now I wear stretchy, stretchy pants. So I have on these six shorts. Um, with these gigantic legs now. <laughs> and so, um, so some I can wear, like some sixes I can wear and some I can't. Um, but it doesn't affect what I'm going to be doing. I'm not gonna down myself either because my legs and my butt are much bigger and my stomach is not, it has more fat on it than it did last year definitely, um, or even from a couple years ago. I'm not gonna down myself about that. I'm just gonna say, okay, look, be the best you can be you know there are some things that you can do that are different. So either you're gonna do those things that are different or what you're gonna do is you're not gonna complain, right? I'm not gonna complain if I'm not gonna make any changes. If I make some changes, see where my body is, then okay, right? But I already know, like the older I get, there's gonna have to be some changes made. It may, you know, with the way I eat, I might have to, I have really bad knees and so maybe at one point in my life, I might not be able to do certain exercises because my knees are so bad, right? So um, I might have to change and only do yoga. So now what will my body do in responding to only doing yoga and not lifting, you know, like going to the gym and lifting weights and stuff like that. So know that, you know, your body's gonna change. You have to make the adjustments. You may have to make the adjustments on your food side, on the exercise side, go to the doctor, make sure nothing hormonal is going on with you, right? So um, just stay faithful to the journey, right? Just stay faithful, do what you can do, right? And if you're not gonna do what you can do, then don't complain about how your body is changing in a way you don't like it to change. Um, one of the things that I also had told myself um, which is something I did tell somebody else and I was like, oh, that sounded so rude for me to say it to them But I am gonna say it to myself get your act together, right? I told myself that get your act together, right? And that just means basically check your diet go to the doctor do what you need to do to make sure that You are doing the best you can Right, and I like to do certain things like I, I like to eat certain foods like we ate Chinese last night I like Chinese food I like ice cream. I had two donuts this week. So this one time out. I had two donuts this week, which is one of my weaknesses. Um, what else? You know, I had my birthday, so I was eating ice cream and cake and all this other crazy stuff. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times it may be what you eat. You just have to look at that and be honest and be truthful with yourself, right? Be truthful with yourself. That's what you have to do. Stop lying to yourself about what you're doing. Sometimes I drink wine, sometimes I drink a little liquor. You know, that stuff has sugar in it. Um, Cause if I drink liquor, I'm drinking it with my husband and I'm putting all kinds of fruit juices and orange juices in it and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I might have one or two glasses and I just added more sugar, right? So, um, just know, and like today, I have french fries at lunchtime. So, right, so Jean, like Jean said, be happy with yourself. You just have to love yourself, right? Love yourself, love where you're at. Don't worry about what somebody else thinks about you. If you know you're giving 100%, right? If you know you're giving 100%, even if you know you're giving 80%, then that's what you, that's just all you can do. 
Uh, Lori said, what did you do differently? I was 115, 125 hormones caused it to increase 145. I'm working out more. So, um, Lori, so when I started the journey, there's a siren back there, as you can see. When I started the journey, I was 148. Um, I started eating, eating, I went on this program, eating healthy. It was really easy working out at home. I got down to 127. So that was in 2013, I was 127 pounds. Um, 12, 3, 12, let's see, I was 148 or 149. And within three, four months, I think I was 127. So then at that point, I started going back to the gym. Um, so I had been in maintenance for a long time. Um, but right now, I just went back to the gym. What's changed over the last couple weeks is, actually probably the last month or so, I started wearing a weighted vest during the Facebook Live workouts. I started wearing my ankle weights during the Facebook Live workouts, which all works my bottom half. So if I'm wearing a weighted vest, right, that's going to work my bottom half because that extra weight, I have to pick up my legs and walk. And I was doing treadmill work with the weighted vest on. That was an extra 16 pounds, I think. And then I had an extra five pounds on each ankle. So we were doing a um, butt challenge and I have those five pound weights on. So you know I'm doing donkey kicks, <laughs> right? I'm doing donkey kicks with those extra five pound weights on. Um, and so that really is what probably really did my, my um, legs. But this gut, this stomach, that is, that's nothing but food. That's food. <laughs> and I am not doing as much cardio as I used to. So I'm not burning as many calories as I once did. But this is what I'm gonna tell you. I'm still gonna be happy with the way I look. And I know this is a journey, right? It's just like your lifestyle journey, right? So it's just like you all have been through things in your life, right? Ups and downs and sideways. But what you have not done, because I can see you and you're showing up, what I have not done and what you have not done is you have not given up. What you've done is you've made some adjustments. If it means I needed to get a new job, if it means I needed to go to a homeless shelter for a while, if it means I needed to get a divorce, if it means I needed to um, um, move to a new state, right? If it means I had to write a book and tell, about, tell my life story, if it means I had to call the police on someone, if it means I had to lose some friends, everybody has a journey. And that basically what I like to think about my fitness journey is the same thing. There are ups and downs in this fitness journey and I just need to make some adjustments along the way. So you guys, I'm gonna stop talking because I'm getting like ate up by mosquitoes out here and y'all know I could talk a long time. So let me just see a few things. Um, Teresa says, sugar never did me harm. What did it, wait, what did do harm was preservatives, artificial uh, flavor coloring, all the synthetic processing, right. So um, that's what we have to do. We have to figure out what works for our body and what does not. And even when the older we get, our body changes. And sometimes those things that worked our body's kind of like, yep, yeah, that's not going to work no more. You should stop eating that, right? So your body's not going to process stuff this, the same way anymore. So, you know, look at what you're doing. Make some adjustments. Um, and sometimes, you know, the adjustments we make may not get us back to where we want to be. But I think the most important thing about this journey is that on the inside, you are healthy. You go to the doctor. They say to you, oh, yeah, we don't have to put you on blood pressure medication no diabetes you don't have to be on any kind of medication at all you're watching your weight you might even be at a good weight um but if you start lifting weights don't let the scale throw you off because it is always gonna um, move up so let's see i was 143 pounds like that's usually that's what my maintenance was 143 i got on the scale today i think i was 147. so i'll take some before pictures of the challenge um, my legs may not move as much just because I'm back in the gym and doing squats and working, putting on heavy weights on the gym. So I won't have fat. They just will be bigger. But that's where I gain my weight. And that's where that part of my body is the part of my body that tends to tone up a lot quicker and faster than anything else. All right, guys. So everybody have an awesome day. If you guys want me to talk about anything, um, send me a message and I'll do a... Um, a video on that as well so you guys make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel lbx fitness um and visit my website www.lbxfitness.com and come join us on monday for the facebook live workout you just join anytime you get up right i will be um, on camera before 3 30 a.m eastern standard time 
But whenever you get up, if you want to come do it live that early, fine. Some of you may not have even gone to bed yet. Come join. Um, and so just come join and do it whenever you're, you're ready. In the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening. All right, you guys. Have an awesome rest of the day. I will see you Monday. Bye.